Okay, so this is a comparison video between my two microphones. Now you're listening to the sound from the Shure Motive MV5 studio microphone. And I have been a bit disappointed with the Shure Motive MV5 microphone because sometimes when recording my videos, the sound doesn't get recorded while doing my video recording. So I have to record the same video again. And uh, before I do that, I need to disconnect the microphone and connect it again to get sound on the video. And I use the default camera app on my iPhone 6S Plus, but still sometimes no sound while recording. And that's very annoying because sometimes you get a really good video recorded but without sound so i don't like that but let's switch microphone now to the rode smart love plus instead okay so now you're listening to the sound from my rode smart love plus microphone and this microphone i have been very impressed by because i have been using it outside with the doing vlogs and so on and also in my car and the quality has been excellent from this microphone. I really love the sound quality and it's easy to use everywhere. I like that I can have it down here connected on the t-shirt for example and I can move around in the room if I want to and so on and still record excellent sound, excellent audio quality. So that's why the Rode Smart Lab Plus has been very impressive microphone. I can highly recommend the Rode Smart Lab Plus if you are a vlogger. But in this room, my so-called studio, there is a lot of echo. Uh, there is a lot of echoing in this room and it's very hard to remove that echo in this room. I need to do some design changes and so on. So. When using the Shure Motive MV5 microphone, I have been used some uh, equalizer settings to uh, try to remove the echo in the room. But with the, the Rode Smart Lab Plus microphone that you are listening to now, I can't use any equalizer or anything because the Rode Smart Lab Plus is connected directly to the headphone jack and uh, in the camera app from uh, iOS, the Apple's default camera app. You can't do any changes for the audio quality and so on. But with the Shure Motive MV5, you can do a lot of different changes uh, in the app from Shure. So those changes are stored in the settings in the microphone and I can use those settings in any app. But that's not possible with the Rode Smart Lab Plus. So um, let's see how uh, the sound quality here is with the Rode Smart Lab Plus in this room with all the echoing. So now I'm back on the Shure Motive MV5 microphone so you can hear the difference between the Rode Smart Lab Plus microphone and the Shure Motive MV5 microphone. And uh, as I said before, by using the Shure Motive MV5 microphone now, I have done some equalizer settings, some compressing and some gain settings and so on directly in the Shure Motive uh, iOS app. So those settings can be used in any app. So now when using the default camera app on my iPhone 6s Plus, those settings are used for this microphone. So please let me know in the comments which microphone you prefer for my videos because at the moment I am more happy with the Rode Smart Lab Plus than the Shure Motive MV5 really. So I have not decided yet which microphone I will use, but if you say in the comments that the Rode Smart Lab Plus is better than the Shure Motive MV5, then maybe I will start using the Rode Smart Lab Plus even here in the studio. Okay, bye. Thank you.